Cooper Flag is really at this point a consensus number one overall pick. He is widely considered the number one prospect in either class. Cooper is one of the highest ranked recruits in the class of 2025, receiving offers from Duke, UConn, Michigan, all the best. Our top prospect Cooper Flag announced he's going to reclassify to the class of 2024 for high schools from the 2025 class. Now, five star recruit Cooper Flag has committed to Duke on a Monday morning for us. He's the number one recruit in the class of 2024. Cooper Flagg may not be in the NBA yet, but he has been taking over high school basketball. He has NBA GMs on their heels, and we already know Coach Shire and the rest of the Duke coaching staff is super excited about this kid coming in later this fall. Cooper Flagg is currently listed as the number one player in the class of 2024, and that's after reclassifying up from the class of 2025. Cooper is a generational talent and the kind of player that can come in and be the cornerstone to an NBA franchise. Could he potentially rival the hype that Victor Wimbenyama got? It's probably too early to tell, but what Coop has shown us thus far that he has the potential to dominate all aspects of the game at the next level. We might be a little early to the hype and be doing a lot of foreshadowing, but it looks like at just 17 years old, Cooper Flagg has all the tools needed to be an elite NBA talent. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's talk about how all this hype was built up in the first place. Born in Newport, Maine, Cooper Flagg grew up loving the game of basketball and has basketball in his blood. Both his mom and dad played college basketball, and he even has a twin, Ace, who's been by his side since birth. Cooper started getting noticed his freshman year of high school with Nokomis Regional High School in Maine. He put up ridiculous numbers his freshman year, averaging 20.5 points, 10 rebounds, 6.2 assists, 3.7 steals, and 3.7 blocks per game. These numbers were absolutely mind-blowing as a freshman, historic numbers actually, as he became the first freshman ever to be named the main Gatorade Player of the Year. We knew this wasn't a fluke, and we knew he wasn't just putting up crazy stats, because Cooper led Nokomis to a 21-1 record and a Class A state championship as a freshman. Talk about making a grand entrance into high school basketball. It was clear as day that Cooper Flagg dominated basketball in the state of Maine, but to be fair, the competition in Maine isn't exactly known to be the best. There's been very few people from Maine to play at a top-tier D1 school, and even less who've gone on to make it to the NBA. In fact, in the last 20 years, Duncan Robinson is the only player from Maine to make it to the NBA. Maine is a special place, no doubt, but to become a better basketball player, Cooper knew he had to leave. And to no one's surprise, Cooper did just that after his freshman year dominance. He packed his bags and headed to powerhouse prep school Montverde Academy, arguably the top high school program in the country. This was a smart move for Cooper, considering all of the elite NBA talent that has come out of Montverde. Not just the 2020 Montverde team that featured six NBA players, which we talked about in our last video and is linked at the end of this one, but NBA players like RJ Barrett, D'Angelo Russell, Ben Simmons, and Joel Embiid. His first year at Montverde was his sophomore year, and Cooper made an immediate impact. He averaged 9.8 points, 5.2 rebounds, and 3 assists per game in his first season at Montverde, and was named the MVP of the 2023 Hoop Hall Classic after scoring 21 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists, and 5 steals in an 85-63 victory over La Lumiere Academy. The stats may not seem overly impressive, but a 15-year-old is not expected to come in and dominate at the most prestigious high school in the country. But a glimpse of what we saw at Hoop Hall gave us a feeling of what Coop can really be. After his sophomore season, he returned to the 16U EYBL circuit, going back home for the summer to play for Maine United. This was Coop's breakout moment on the most competitive stage at his level. He averaged 26.9 points, 11.9 rebounds, 4.7 assists, and 4.5 blocks per game across 17 games. Yes, you heard that right, he was averaging over 4 blocks a game. 
and over a three-game stretch at the Nike Peach Jam Tournament, one of the most competitive AAU tournaments of the year, he dropped three straight triple-doubles, averaging 34.7 points, 16 rebounds, and 10.7 blocks. Yeah, he averaged a triple-double with blocks. Video game numbers. Cooper took this momentum from his incredible summer and moved it into the following season at Montverde. But as we mentioned before, Cooper reclassified to the class of 2024 over the summer, making him a senior heading into the 2023-2024 season. Usually when top players move up a class, their ranking falls as they move up a year to be ranked against older competition. But for Cooper's case, he was so dominant that he was still ranked as the top player in the 2024 class. Cooper's senior season at Montverde thus far has been nothing short of exceptional. He's led his team to a 25-0 record so far in the season, and are ranked the number one team in the country. He's also averaging 16.8 points, 7.9 rebounds, 4 assists, and 3 blocks. These numbers may not be video game numbers that he put up in AAU, but we also need to consider that he's the headline of a starting lineup at Montverde that features 5 five-star recruits who are all ranked in the top 25 of ESPN's Class of 2024. Cooper's outstanding performance this year led him to be selected to play in the 2024 McDonald's All-American Game scheduled to take place in April 2024 and will feature the best and most highly recruited high schoolers graduating in the class of 2024. So by now, you should have an idea of exactly why Cooper Flag is highly rated. He's not just a scoring machine, he's a defensive monster both on the perimeter and at the rim. Check out this insane stat line from one of his EYBL games this summer. In one game, he finished just four assists away from a quadruple double. He had 38 points, 16 rebounds, 12 blocks, and 6 assists in a 71-68 win. One of his 12 blocks was a game-saving denial in which he covered 35 feet of ground to come slap the game-tying shot away from the rim. But it's not just his on-the-court skills that make him special, it's his attitude. He's a competitor through and through. He plays hard and fights for every possession, which is part of the reason why Duke, UConn, Kansas, you name it, all wanted him. Also, Cooper reclassifying now makes him eligible to enter the 2025 NBA Draft, which he's now projected to be the number one overall pick by ESPN Draft experts. With all the hype around the Reek class and his insane performance this past summer, Cooper signed with the Duke Blue Devils on November 13, 2023 over reigning national champion UConn and became the crown jewel of their recruiting class. And why Duke, you ask? Well, he felt it. Stepping on campus, he knew it was home. He wanted a coaching staff that would push him, make him better, and Duke fit that bill perfectly. For Duke, it was a big win for their recruiting class, and a big win for Cooper as well. We know Duke has produced some elite forwards in the past few years, such as NBA All-Stars Jason Tatum, Brandon Ingram, Zion Williamson, and Paolo Boncaro. Pretty good track record for Duke forwards. Duke has landed two previous number one overall prospects in the past few years, the first being Marvin Bagley III back in 2017 the second being the top two players of the 2018 class, RJ Barrett and Zion Williamson. Duke finished that year with the number one overall class after also landing Cam Reddish and Trey Jones to pair with RJ and Zion. The hype is real for Cooper Flagg. We've got an exciting talent in the making, and he's already growing into the game even before making it to the big stage. Cooper can score the basketball in the half court and in transition. He's a three-level scorer, has a killer instinct, and even has a point-forward-like vibe to him along with the likes of Giannis, Tatum, and LeBron. Big forwards who can play like guards. But aside from his tremendous offensive game, his defensive versatility is still not mentioned enough. He's got that lockdown edge on defense. Size, instincts, shot blocking, you name it. Cooper Flagg is like a defensive menace on the court. It's like he's made for the modern game, as he's an asset on both sides of the floor. Duke snagged themselves a gem, that's for sure. 
They've landed plenty of blue chip prospects over the years, but the argument can be made that Cooper ranks near the top as one of the best recruiting wins in program history. The numbers don't lie. He's a triple-double threat, elite passing for his size, and a potential point forward in the making. Plus, his offensive toolbox is stacked. Great footwork, post moves, great handle, he's got it all. And that smooth jumper, it's only getting better. If his three-point shot gets consistent, we're talking about a special offensive force here. His defensive game might just overshadow his offensive prowess. Elite rim protection, defensive versatility, and a basketball IQ that's just through the roof. And let's go back to his reclassification, which was a bold move, no doubt. Eyeing that 2025 NBA draft shows that he's got the confidence, and rightfully so. His motor, intensity, feel for the game, it's something special. Sure, skepticism creeps in, but this is not your ordinary prospect. We might be witnessing something truly unique. Cooper boasts a perfect composite rating of 1, meaning all of the leading recruiting sites placed him at number 1 in the class. If it remains this way, the 5-star forward would join fellow Montvert Academy product RJ Barrett as the only Duke Blue Devil to arrive with the highest possible rating across the roughly 20 years of composite scores that 24-7 Sports has on record. But the battle for the top spot in his class isn't entirely a one-horse race. Ace Bailey, who's committed to Rutgers, is certainly making his case, averaging 30.2 points, 13.8 rebounds, 4.2 assists, and 4.2 blocks in his first six games of the year, including an insane 41 points and 26 rebounds in a game earlier this year. Sure, Flag hasn't posted 41 and 26 in a game, then again, his box scores are undeniably extraordinary, even more so when considering his development came from the undisputed number one prep team in the country. Still, most of the scouting reports on Bailey could double as an assessment of Cooper's game. One part that wouldn't be fitting for Cooper, though, is the following critique of Bailey as a relatively unpolished defender. In other words, if based on current abilities over potential, one could say the battle for the top spot is no contest, as Cooper is arguably the most advanced high school talent in years. Now, here's the reality check. Hyped high school prospects have burned us before. We've been down this road with the likes of Greg Oden, Sebastian Telfair, Anthony Bennett, and Lenny Cook. If you don't remember who Lenny Cook was, he was ranked higher than LeBron James and Carmelo Anthony back in 2001. We all know how that went for Lenny. But there's something different about Cooper Flagg, a 6'9 maestro with a basketball IQ through the roof. The game just flows differently when he's on the court. But speaking of being on the court, we are just entering the vortex that is the Cooper Flagg hype train. Is it a little premature and too soon to call him the next big thing? Or will Cooper Flagg be the next Duke forward turned NBA star? Let us know in the comments below.